So here we are with episode 10 of Tier Moon Empire. Last episode, Mia and Sion got separated and uh, they're heading off on their own in order to get to the, the central part of Remmo. So we'll just have to see their journey continues. If you guys like the video, like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it. I do have my full length up on Patreon and early access to non-seasonal and some seasonal shows on the YouTube memberships. Other than that, let us get started. いいさ。ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと
を加点した結果きっと彼女は許さないだろう<laughs> the way she just drops that bird. <laughs> oh, here's the black crow. The truth. Mmm, alright. Oh, well, good thing I have money, huh? <laughs> she just stuck coins in her. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so she just stuffs it in her socks. Ah, just two fucking rich motherfuckers. <laughs> oh my god, that horse! How would he know if they're taking advantage of him or not? <laughs> he doesn't even know how much it costs. Why did you fucking... I don't know why she didn't follow him. Like, what, what was she? <laughs> Got any money on you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> She's ready. <laughs> ah! Stop being so confident. <laughs> Damn, really, really fucking gave him the chunkla. <laughs> Damn, she really came into the heart of the revolution. <laughs> I'm the princess. <laughs> she doesn't even, she's in disguise right now. She didn't really need to like put her her. <laughs> Can you stop this revolution? What? Also, she just shoved that dagger right into her breast. <laughs> hey, you random person I just kidnapped. <laughs> you need to help help me. <laughs> hey, maybe she get to see Abel here, you know, since he is coming. Wow. Yeah, she truly is in the heart of the revolution. Bunch of whiners. Pose a threat to the organization. That's why she's like, you can stop the revolution, right? Yeah. Wow. Genius. <laughs> it's just the wisdom of the empire. <laughs> she did not. Not a lowering of taxes. Alright, what is it? Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. They did talk about that. <gasps> Comrades, rise up! Ah. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, that's why he's coming with you. <laughs> that's right. We'll end this before Keyfoot even gets here. 
met him at a bar. <laughs> blue caps like a blue shirt worker? <laughs> We've safely taken over the town. <laughs> Where do they get these? Lambert! Uh-oh. No. Oh no, he smiled and we couldn't see his eyes. Must be a malicious intention. <laughs> wow. It's the beach episode. <laughs> At first I was just like, who is this girl? <laughs> but I realized it's Mia. <laughs> but alright. Um, we're, we're gonna go back to the center. Alright, so that was episode 10 of uh, Tear Moon Empire. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. You know that I always like talking to you guys. For me, I thought that this was a pretty nice episode. Uh, I guess we've kind of learned that Graham is, uh, he's working with, well, he's not working, uh, he's He's part of Sunklin, but he's the one who's causing the problems in, in Remno, even though it was supposed to happen in Tear Moon, so he's a little upset by that. So he must be a part of the, uh, the, the table, the round table of bad men. <laughs> I did want to go over some scenes, like this part where I was too busy looking at this thing. <laughs> Okay, so I had heard there's an atmosphere of unrest in the kingdom of Remno, but I didn't expect Princess Mia to be heading there. Okay, so I would normally, I normally would want to dispatch the princess guard, but in these circumstances, any troop movements could be viewed as an invasion. Okay, okay, so that's basically what I missed. So, the tax increase has caused a rise in discontent among the populace, but such dramatic backlash should not be happening this quickly. Okay, are you trying to say someone is deliberately trying to incite revolution? So it's Graham for the most part. Uh, whatever the case, we need to stop it. Okay, so we head on over to Graham, right? This man is Graham. He is a member of Sunkland's intelligent agency, the Wind Crows. He's part of the White Crows or something, or uh, Abyss, that's what they, they say he's a part of. And then there's like the Black Crows and such. Uh, right now, he's operating as a Remno government, within the Remno government, as a civil servant. And then he's just over here <laughs> looking into these love letters. I, I thought I, this was very funny. <laughs> She's out here sending messages. <laughs> this fucking, uh, this this fucking girl who's the wisdom of the empire. <laughs> the plan to plunge Remno into a revolutionary war was originally supposed to begin after the fall of the Tear Moon Empire. It's all because of that damn girl Mia. <laughs> She's so evil. How dare she fucking prevent her own re revolution? <laughs> so Monica. Uh, speaking but too loudly, uh, so why are you here? What is she- yeah, she has a report. It's about Mia and Prince Sion attempting to cross the border, and it would appear they have escaped. So the bandits that were coming were coming for Mia and Sion. We are attempting to locate their companions, but their whereabouts are unknown. So they're comp- We're attempting to locate the companions. So like, Tiona and Keefwood? To which, weren't the bandits on the carriage as well? Unless, I guess, Keefwood must have, like, kicked them all out. You don't think they anticipated the attack, don't you? Were Princess Mia unable communicating after all? <laughs> and Monica's just like, nah, dude, this is, these are just fucking letters exchanged between a boy and girl their age. <laughs> Does this mean that Abel hasn't, like, read these letters? Like, she <laughs> has Mia just been sending these letters and Graham has just been reading them? <laughs> Well, no, Abel has sent a letter back, so I guess Abel's just like, yeah, sure, here, take my letters. Or he doesn't know, right, that his letters are being read. 
So whatever the case, our maneuver to destroy the Tier Moon Empire ended in failure. We'll have to accelerate our plans, even if it means taking some risk. Isn't everything proceeding smoothly so far? We're walking on a tightrope. We've spread words that the King confined Count Donovan, thus inciting a revolt by stirring up those unhappy with the royal government. So like, he said we spread words, but like, did the king actually arrested him? Or like, did they arrest him and like put him somewhere and then they spread the rumor, I would assume. The latter half? But then, if that's the case, like, wouldn't the king know about the rumor? <laughs> Unless it hasn't come up to them yet, right? All he knows is that they're starting a revolution for some fucking reason. <laughs> uh, okay, so as a result, the rebel forces gain a control of the major city facilities. Just as we hope, the king deployed the adamant infantry, but the uh, the massacre occurs, the flames of rebellion will spread across the kingdom, but the, the adamant infantry hasn't happened yet. Okay, so... <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy is just over here like, ah, oh, fuck, how do I, how do I fight this without losing any of my men? This is, this is a hard task. <laughs> Middle management. <laughs> Oh, that's very funny. Okay, so send this message home. I like that he gave her this big thing, but like she's supposed to, I guess she was supposed to like write down the most important part in like the smaller ones, cause like that one definitely did not go on the freaking crow. But what Monica says, this is false information that would drag our nation into the horrors of war. Is it really all right to send this? That's the concern that's the concern appropriate for you black crows. Do your utmost to not stand out and just collect information in secret. He's saying appropriate or inappropriate? I don't know why he's- uh, uh, Anyways, uh, I'm a white crow, an Albus, and so Albus missions are- Oh, right, well, his ambition is to use information as a weapon to fight for the glory of Sunklin. So then, like, is the king a part of this as well? Like, is he just, like, fucking with other people? <laughs> a special sources, a certain- a special force, a certain man, uh, within the wind group created, uh, Albus. Okay, Albus mission, take priority over all others. Okay, so, off she goes with all her messages. So, King Sunklin prizes justice and fairness. That's why she said King Sunklin, not like the kingdom of Sunklin. To work for such a man was something I was proud of. And then she bumps into this fella. So, uh, you know, watch where you're going, woman. <laughs> so, he's just over here like, you think the apology of a lowly maid makes up for it? So this sort of thing is an everyday occurrence in this country. So this is her basically saying that uh, the assumption that, you know, uh, that, that she as a woman yeah, gets treated like this every day. <laughs> I don't love that here in this moment. She's just like, yeah, maybe, maybe Runno is better off in a, in a, washed in a, in a sea of flames. <laughs> But we get to see Abel coming in, right? Asserting his dominance and everything. What a good guy. So after seeing Abel and like him talking about me and all that, how he's changed for the better, right? She's sending messages. God, those are such tiny little messages. <laughs> so she takes us to the homeland, right? And then a black crow comes on over, but she wrote the truth in this one instead of writing the, the false information. There's no guarantee this will reach him, as in the king, but I hope he does, right? That's what she says. I pray it does. Okay. King Sunklin prizes justice and fairness, but Graham is not doing that essential. I mean, he's, he's, he's doing a little subterfuge and everything, a little manipulation behind the scene. So, so I'm trying to like pick up on like what was happening in the first timeline. So like the, the first timeline, if we're to believe that this is what is supposed to happen, right? Because he did say, Graham did say, the fall of the Kingdom Remno was supposed to happen after the Tear Moon Empire. And, and, and in this timeline, the second timeline, Graham is like, that's supposed to happen, but because of Mia, they failed, so they have to take more risk and accelerate the things that's happening in the Kingdom of Remno. So in the first timeline, I would assume Sunklin is the cause of all of this, and that's why, and they were able to do it through with the Tear Moon Empire, and that's why uh, Mia died. But also, after that, they were going to go for the Kingdom of Remno next, and they're about to start another revolution over there. Meanwhile, Sion is just over here, uh, none the wiser. <laughs> what a, what a lad. <laughs> <laughs> he really just came in swinging. <laughs> 
But I suppose that's why they kind of said Sunklin joined in on this whole revolution thing for, for uh, the Tier Moon. I did kind of have that question on like, well, if they come in and join, right? Like, are they expecting Sunklin, I mean, if they come in and help with this revolution for the Tier Moon Empire, would they expect something from said revolutionaries? So, there's that. Okay, well... Now I've got that first half. Oh, well, actually the first like eight minutes or something. <laughs> the, yeah, it is the first half. Well, once we got at, at that out of the way, it's a lot of information, but okay. I, I think I've uh, pretty much have gotten it. But in the second half, Mia gets kidnapped by uh, it, through by the orders of a man named Jem, who lynches his brother, who is the leader of the revolutionary, Lambert. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know why, but like the moment I hear Lambert and then I saw the way that he looked, I'm just like, why the fuck do we have another Lambert? <laughs> Who's also doing a little, doing a little commoner rise up sort of shit. <laughs> but Lynsha saved Mia because she knew that Mia was... Uh, uh, important. Jem said that he was a she was a threat to the revolutionary. So if she's a threat, then that means that she can stop it. So she's just like, all right, I need you to stop my brother before he gets himself killed. But this part right here, uh, I, I thought was pretty interesting. I believe uh, is it right over here? Hold on. Yeah, right here. This is the part where uh, in the first timeline after Mia got imprisoned and then what's his face? Sion. There you go. Sion's just like, hey, how dare you fucking kill Donovan? And so it's the idea of like, well, that story doesn't make sense, right? Like, why the fuck would I kill Donovan? So that, I would assume that's also a part of Sunklins's intelligent branch that kind of like pulled the strings and all that. And again, Sion, none the wiser. <laughs> Didn't fucking realize. The poor lad. Actually, no, not even the poor lad. Fuck him. <laughs> the fucking idiot. <laughs> Speaking of T-posing, Lambert is out here T-posing for dominance. Or, you know, it could be a Jesus pose, whichever one. <laughs> so Lynsha tells Lambert that she wants him to hear out the two kids. And then Lambert's got a little smirk on him. He's just like, yeah, sure, you know, I'll fucking listen to them. <laughs> I don't know. But I do love that Lynsha said that she met Jem, uh, he met Jem, Lambert met Jem at a bar. <laughs> and then they just what, concocted the revolutionary. <laughs> the you just love it when you're just out here. You know what? The, the last time we saw the round table of evil men, they were at a bar, technically. They were at a tavern, so... I don't know, maybe they did meet him there, you know, <laughs> he went and he saw the, the round table of bad men. But again, I do find that very funny <laughs> when you're just casually discussing. You know what? That's kind of the same thing that happened in like the vexation of the shot in Vampire Princess. <laughs> Goddamn, dude, people really need to keep an eye on the bar just out here. People just concocting, uh, uh, concocting evil plans at the bar. <laughs> But anyways, the arc continues. Uh, I've been really enjoying this arc so far, and especially knowing that we get to see one of the uh, one of the round table of evil men. I can't stop saying that now. <laughs> His name is Graham, and uh, I feel like we're they're just slowly showing us more and more of the picture of uh, what exactly happened in the first timeline. So that's 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 pretty fun. That's uh, very enjoyable. So can't wait to uh, see what happens next. And uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it. If I have anything else to say, I will write it in the description down below. Thank you guys for sticking around and I'll see you guys in the next episode.